People are still scrambling to get out of Afghanistan following the U.S. withdrawal and the Taliban takeover. As many as 1,300 Afghans may be settling in Michigan in the coming months. Grant Herms reports on the effort to find them places to stay. Hundreds of Afghan refugees making their way to Michigan. On a conference call this week, Bethany Christian Services hoping to give people a new home after more than 50,000 have been forced to flee. We're looking at 250, which are so precious and so important to us, but we've seen that the U.S. government doesn't want to overwhelm states. In the chaos of the evacuation, many still trapped and under threat. The evacuation was sudden and um, chaotic and violent, as we've seen. So right now they are hiding, um, they're, in, they're in lockdown and they're hiding because they believe that their lives are in jeopardy. That danger mounting with each day. I can't stress that just the fear, the stress, um, and it's getting worse by the day. Many are coming with visa status after working with the U.S. military and allied forces. Others are not, just looking for refuge. Humanitarian parole is a way to get people in crisis into the country and safe, and we'll work out um, next steps as they come. The biggest issue now, finding housing. While services like Bethany have partners, they're also asking Michiganders to open their own homes to give those who need a home a place to stay as they resettle in the Great Lakes State. Grant Herms, Local 4.